Hi, welcome back to Tiny RV Cooking. I'd like to invite you to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell for new notification on videos. I'll be putting out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. So today I'll be making garlic, parmesan, chicken, and potatoes in the slow cooker. If you'd like to see how I make this super easy recipe, stay tuned and I'll show you how. I found this recipe on Darn Delicious. I'll put the website link down below where you can find this great recipe. We're going to need chicken, a cup of Parmesan, we're going to need basil, oregano, pepper, and a, um, rosemary. I did a teaspoon of each and one fourth pepper. We're going to need kosher salt, we'll need more pepper, butter, I melted mine already, two teaspoons, I did two teaspoons plus unsalted, I did one teaspoon of salted. You need four cloves of garlic, but for us, we like a lot of garlic, so I add a little extra. One half dry thyme, two pounds of little potatoes, and our slow cooker. Let's get everything put together. So for me, I'm going to do the recipe a little bit different. I'm going to add my seasoning, my butter, and my garlic to, and my, to my potatoes, mix it up, and throw it in. I'm not going to sear my chicken, so I'm going to up out the olive oil it calls for and just add butter to this. Let's first put our garlic in. Sprinkle it with our thyme. A little bit of kosher salt. To taste, so don't put too much in. Pepper to taste. And our butter. I'm not gonna put all of it in because I'm gonna throw some on top of my chicken. That left uh, about a fourth of it left. I'm gonna give it a good mix to get all the flavors through. We're going to throw our potatoes in the bottom of our crock pot or our slow cooker you have. Mix it all in. Everything off. Want to make sure we get all this flavor. I'm going to put it back in my slow cooker. Now for those who've been watching my channel know I like to salt my chicken in advance. So my chicken is already salted. I'm not going to add more salt on it. I salted it while I got all the ingredients prepped. And that is set for 30 minutes. That's all. Take your stirring stick and we're going to mix all this together. It's two taste. So I did a teaspoon of the different, the three different herbs and I put only one fourth pepper and I think that's enough pepper. You can always add more later. So we're going to sprinkle this on top. Don't have enough, we can always make more. Pat this in. And then we're going to... I'm actually going to do the other side in my slow cooker. You can certainly sear this first if you like, but I choose not to. It's going to be a very hot day. I don't want to heat my camper up any more than it is going to. You can use chicken thighs, you can use big breasts, but in my family, we only eat chicken tenders. I only eat one chicken tender. So for me to have it in big breast, and my boyfriend doesn't like, so we just don't get them. I'm sprinkling on top. That's why you see me make chicken tenders a lot. It's just what we eat. As you can see, I sprinkled it on really good, pat it in. I'm going to add my leftover butter on top, just a little bit. It's just to give it a little extra. We're going to put our lid on top 
It'll cook for six to seven hours because I have chicken tenders. Mine will cook between five to six hours because the potatoes will cook, then the chicken will cook on top. So it takes a little longer. So we're gonna put it on low. I'll see you in five to six hours to add the Parmesan on top. I'm gonna to serve this with broccoli on the side. Hi, it's been six hours. My chicken is done, my potatoes look, are done. Let me turn it off. Instead of sprinkling Parmesan cheese on right now, I'm gonna let people do it themselves. So they can put as much as they want or as little as they want or none at all. I'm going to serve it with broccoli. So I'm just going to put that all in the bowl too. Give it a nice bright green color. It's time to eat our Parmesan garlic, chicken and potatoes. And now for the fun part, we get to try our garlic, Parmesan chicken and potatoes. I've served it with broccoli. I put my broccoli in the Instant Pot, zero minutes on steam, quick pressure release. That means just flip the valve, take it out, you have nice bright broccoli. I steam all my vegetables in the Instant Pot, I love it. So let's give it a try. Mmm. Really earthy, but I think I'll add a little oil and butter to finish it off with. That's my personal opinion, but it's really good. Very earthy, very delicious. See what our potatoes taste like. Same with the potatoes, very earthy. For me, again, a little butter or olive oil to finish it off with, but still very, very good. I like it. Very simple recipe. You put it in the morning, you have it ready for evening. It's hot weather. Right now we're in a heat dome in California, so it's boiling hot. This is great. Thank you for coming to Tiny RV Cooking. I'd like to invite you to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell for new notification on videos. I'll be putting out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. My camper is only 22 foot long, but I love her. I'll see you the next time on Tiny RV Cooking. Bye.